Namaste from Kathmandu. My time in lockdown has been the most times I've seen the mountains in Kathmandu. And that's because there is so little pollution in the valley. As we all stay indoors and adjust to these unprecedented circumstances, I wanted to make sure we mark Earth Day with a short message about climate change and about the coronavirus pandemic or COVID. COVID has shown us how vulnerable we all are to global issues that do not recognise borders. And that's why the UK is working with Nepal to tackle the immediate threat of COVID through our health and our humanitarian programmes. But on Earth Day, we should not forget that whilst tackling COVID must be our first priority, fighting climate change just simply cannot wait. COP26 has been postponed, but the UK remains committed to supporting Nepal's actions on climate change. So at the district level, we're helping local governments to adapt to the adverse impacts of a changing climate through our Climate Smart Development Programme. And this will help over 250,000 people become more climate resilient. For example, by protecting water sources, using bioengineering to reduce monsoon landslides and increasing the use of traditional drought tolerant crops, we are reducing the risk of climate change, which will benefit Nepal and also the world. We are also helping Nepal to access finance for investments in renewable energy and resilience that will create the domestic jobs that Nepal will need urgently once the COVID health crisis is over. So, to mark Earth Day, I want to reiterate the joint commitment we have with Nepal to respond to tackle global issues together, from COVID to climate change, not only to reduce the impacts domestically, but also to lead others by example so that post-COVID, we can all recommit to ambitious climate commitments. There is no alternative. There is no plan B for planet Earth. Our response to climate change needs to build on the spirit of international collaboration and science-led thinking we have seen with the coronavirus. And this is for the sake of everyone, everywhere. Thank you.